Hello and welcome to one of my new No Thrills reviews. No Thrills basically means I'm not going to be showing screenshots, I'm not going to be showing clips. Um, I'm just sitting here, earphones on, cap on, shitty beard, um, and uh, just waffle on about the Swamp Thing from Amazon. Um, what can I say about the Swamp Thing? It's uh, great, I've, I really loved it. Um, it's only got 10 episodes in it and it's only one series. Um, just found out that they're not making a second series, I'm gutted. Um, basically the guy who uh, ran this show got pulled off to do <laughs> to do The Witcher, which is coming out on Netflix soon, I think. Um, so what can I say about uh, The Swamp Thing? Um, it's a horror, it's supernatural, um, it's spooky, it's suspenseful, um, it's got a great cast, and the only, <laughs> the only slight bad thing, I think, and it's not a huge issue, but when it comes to the actual Swamp Thing itself, the actual makeup and special effects, this reminded me of an old 60s and 70s B movie, but obviously much better. But I, th I think they did it on purpose. I think I think it's supposed to be like that. I, I, I think they have literally uh, intentionally made the Swamp Thing not CGI. That's the thing. I think they desperately wanted the Swamp Thing to be played by a guy in a suit. So the drawback from that is, yeah, it it does look like a guy in a suit, in my opinion. So there is drawbacks. I mean, if they use CGI, I think it would have looked better. But I think using the guy in a suit really gives it a different dimension, really. I think it would have been easier and simple just to put, you know, a guy in a, in a green suit and then, you know, stick CGI all over him. Maybe a little bit of CGI involved somewhere along the line, but I think it really works well with... A guy in a suit uh, walking around properly and actually acting um, so yeah that, that's, that's I wouldn't say it's a bad thing but you can tell it's a guy in a suit rather than a real genuine monster but as the series goes on I think it sort of plays out that it, it actually makes sense that's why it is like that I think I think it's I think they've done a good job with doing that I think uh, I think the CGI would have ruined it to be honest so the main plot line is that uh, there's a young lady called Abby. She works for, I can't remember the actual terminology, but she works for a, a basically she's a doctor, scientist. She, she works on deadly diseases. So if there's a deadly disease out in the world, she'll go and investigate it and try and contain it. And it just so happens that a deadly, strange disease has, has started springing up in her old hometown in Louisiana. So she's comes to her old, very small town, very close community, to investigate what's going on. Um, but without giving too much away, I don't want to give any spoilers away, um, basically there's something growing in the swamp. I mean, this, this small town is basically lives off the swamp. Um, fishing and uh, agriculture all, all, all revolves around the swamp, really. So when, when there's a potential contamination in the swamp, there's a bit of a bit of a, a panic going on in the, in the town. They don't really want to lose the swamp. They don't really want outsiders coming in to uh, investigate and uh, uh, swamp their village. <laughs> now, one of the good things I found about the Swamp Thing um, was that it covers a range of genres. Uh, it starts off, I think the first two episodes, I wouldn't say they're slow, but you don't quite get where it's leading, really. There's a bit of a love interest going on. Um, obviously, you get to meet a lot of a lot of characters in the first couple of episodes but then it goes from from that it turns into a sort of a supernatural theme then after a couple of more episodes it turns into a horror i mean there are a few instances where you know it's like a bit squ if, you're, if you're squeamish you have to look away so you know that's a little warning for you if you're, if you're squeamish yeah you, you're not expecting it well, i wasn't expecting it anyway i wasn't expecting it to get that gruesome and that um gross in some places to be honest a few there's a few bits where obviously the makeup department have gone mental and uh really splashed out um so yeah that, that's that's what i did like actually uh, it went from just a it looked like a, one of these sort of arty dramas to uh, something that was a bit a bit spooky some, some supernatural stuff happening and then it just went full blow full blown uh, blood and guts brilliant so basically if you're looking for a short series to watch on Amazon without investing too much time you know in trying to watch three or four series over the next couple of years then I would really recommend watching Swamp Thing 
Um, I really enjoyed it. Well, me and the wife really enjoyed it. It's one of those things we watched in the evening together, just a couple of episodes every night uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, it's different. Um, I can't really compare it with anything else. So the, the only sort of negative, which didn't really become a negative, <laughs> was just the special effects on the actual Swamp Thing itself. But if you're into your old B-movies, if you like genuine acting rather than CGI, then you, you'll like it. it. It's good. Uh, that'll do for now. Uh, that's my first sort of TV review ever done. Uh, cheers. Bye.